I know that the reason you are speaking out tonight, despite your grief, is because you feel this is the way to achieve justice for your deceased daughter. Um, how did you find out the remains discovered in Malibu Canyon were, in fact, those of your daughter? Well, this morning I, I received a phone call from the coroner's office confirming, but I must take you back um, a couple of days ago when the remains were first um, discovered by a state park ranger as they were eradicating marijuana fields in, in, in the area. It was not the authorities who alerted us to the possibilities of these bones and, and what occurred. It, it, it was a news reporter. And immediately I went from San Bernardino to that, that, that area, which is not too far. It's like right in the center, not too far from where, be, between the murals that I discussed on your show before and the last, the very first sighting of my trees, which was behind Bill Smith's house. That ravine is like midway between there. It's, it's just unbelievable. And when, when I was at the site, waiting for those bones to be extracted. I, I, I you know, once, I, I, I don't know, just something in me just knew that this, this was it. I know my baby spirit and just having her with me all of her life, I, I, I just feel her spirit in me. And there was nothing that could make me believe that she was just caravanning around in Las Vegas, nothing. I knew my baby was in that area. Now, I got to say this, the L.A. County Sheriff's Office has just released this, and I'll show it to you right now, 50-page report, I'm holding it in my hands, saying they did everything right, legal and reasonable. I want to know, is what? this a whitewash? 57 pages. They maintain my trace was alert, coherent, and cooperative, and that there was nothing to indicate that she suffered from mental health problems. And remember that video of my trace in the jail cell? They say they only delayed releasing the videotape because of some technical mumbo jumbo. But, Latisse, we still haven't seen that video. I mean, it hasn't been published. It hasn't aired. You say you saw it, and you say that she was in the fetal position. And, of course, witnesses at the restaurant said she was speaking in tongues, speaking gibberish, saying she was from Mars, saying she was there to avenge Michael Jackson's death. So how could they possibly say that, the, that she, to all accounts, was acting perfectly normally? Oh, I, I absolutely agree with you. First first of all, Jane, I can't even comment on that report because I'm unaware of that report. As a matter of fact, Ben Jones, who was supposed to be the a person who completed that report, I asked him back in April for that report. This is just, I believe, it's my opinion that it's just a political, uh, a, 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 a public relations move on the part of the Sheriff's Department. Listen, Ben Jones has been out with the Sheriff's Department last and carrying on how in the world could he be objective and write any report about my daughter that's why from the very beginning I've, I've asked I've pleaded I've appealed to the FBI to get involved because no one is truly investigating the, the the sheriff's department and from the beginning there has been questions and it's only been questions because they've always cover and hide and and, and give us reason to concern and let me tell you something I did see that booking <coughs> tape surveillance which by the way need I remind everyone that Captain Martin, who was the captain at the time, always said that there was no video footage of my trees. And that was an outright lie. He made that statement to reporters, to everyone. Well, and uh, then three months later, I, I, you know, we, we happened to find out about it. Yes, right. I saw it. And so it wasn't d d delayed because they were trying to clean up anything. They just didn't want to show it. 